hello everyone now in this lecture which is the first lecture of our signal sign systems in this lecture we are going to look at the what are the different ways of representing a signal okay so in the introduction what is a signal a signal is anything that carries information like human speech electric current and voltage are some of the examples so if a signal depends on only one independent variable it is called a one dimensional signal if it depends on two independent variables it is a two dimensional signal right okay then coming to the exact concept in this lecture different ways of representations of discrete time signals first of all we are going to see about discrete time signals so the first one is graphical representation suppose like if you have given a representation like this x of n with respect to n n is the time steps and x of n is the value assigned to that x at that particular time step n that means from this you can say x of minus 3 is 3 x of minus 2 is 1 x of minus 1 equals to 2 similarly you can proceed all those values and if you have not given anything those values will be zero so you should be in a position to get either of these suppose if you have given these values you should be in a position to represent like this waveform and if you have given this kind of figure you should be in a position to get all these values like we are discussing only basics and very important points that two theory points i am not going to solve any problems here because i will teach you the problem solving after the completion of complete theory because without knowing all these there is no use of proceeding for problems and if you solve by your own by using these concepts it will be better you can even solve on your own in the exams also so first you need to try by yourself anything then if you have any doubt you can approach any important textbooks which are consisting of examples and you can also comment your problems in our lectures right so this is considering graphical representation okay right then coming to the functional representation here you will suppose if you have given x of n equals to like the same figure which has been shown in the first page was given so the figure was same but in the first step the representation is in graphical okay but here in functional representation you need to write x of n like this like one flower bracket and plus 3 for n equals to minus 3 Plus one for n equals to minus two. Plus two for n equals to minus one, and so on. This is the way of representing a signal in functional representation. Then again, the third representation is tabular representation. Here you need to represent one row as the time step n, and the second row is the function, actual function. That is x of n. That is a value of x at that particular n. So this is. a tabular representation okay then one more thing we have that is so third one e sorry fourth one is sequence representation here you are going to represent that same figure in this way like x of n equals to flower brackets plus 3 comma 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 2 comma 1 comma 2 that means and you need to mention that arrow also because if you were if you don't mention arrow at any place you don't know which is the starting position that is which is the zeroth step right 
so if you you need to mention that arrow symbol if the time steps are of negative and positive because you need to know that zero and the left values will be considered for negative time steps and the right values will be considered for positive time steps so if you look at the figure which i have given to you you can easily get this that means x of 0 is 3 x of 1 is 2 x of 2 is 1 x of 3 is 2 similarly if you go towards the left side you will get x of minus 3 is 3 like all in the all representations we are representing the same figure but in different ways you need to understand that first suppose if you have not given any arrow symbol in any one sequence presentation then how you will get that figure in a reverse way that means i am saying you listen there is no arrow symbol in that case the first number will be of zeroth time if there is no arrow okay suppose uh, that's what i mentioned here if x of n equals to 0 for n less than 0 that means there are no negative time steps the n time step is starting from 0 so in that case you can write x of n equals to 3 2 1 2 are you getting that means at n equals to 0 x of 0 equals to 3 then x of 1 equals to 2 and so on only right side terms are there then there is no need to put arrow right because there are no negative time steps that's it right thank you in the next lecture we will discuss about elementary signals that is unit step unit ramp impulse and all thank you